you worried about how China's handling COVID right now? Well, yes, I am. But I think we just have to make the, the protocol we set out. That if you're flying from China, you got to be tested, and so on. Uh, China, China's not been. I know they're very sensitive about suggest when we suggest they haven't been that forthcoming. <laughs> uh, the CDC recommended this uh, approach because of the spread of COVID within the PRC, the prevalence of COVID uh, within the PRC, but also. Uh, because of the lack of adequate and transparent epidemiological and viral genomic sequence data uh, being reported from the PRC. It's the lack of transparency that has compounded uh, our concern uh, for the potential uh, for a variant to emerge in the PRC and potentially uh, to spread well beyond its borders. We are not going to characterize discussions between the PRC and the WHO. Those discussions took place yesterday. The senior WHO officials have, over the course of the day, characterized uh, not only those discussions, but their assessment of what they have seen, but more appropriately, uh, what they have not seen from the PRC. Uh, we've seen the statement uh, from uh, the WHO's emergencies director uh, that the current numbers being published from China underrepresent the true impact of the disease in terms of hospital admissions, in terms of ICU admissions, particularly in terms of, of deaths. I believe the same official went on to say that we do not, we still do not have complete data. Uh, that, of course, is the WHO's assessment. They are in the best position to make an assessment because uh, PRC officials recently uh, took part in discussions with them. Uh, Just to follow up yeah. on that, uh, tomorrow the um, restrictions for travelers coming from China go into effect in the U.S. So could you just speak to how those restrictions are uh, part of an effort to keep out any potential new COVID variants or detect any potential uh, COVID variants from coming to the U.S.? Well, this is really a better question for the CDC. Uh, they are the ones that are administering uh, this this approach, they were the ones that uh, announced it. Uh, of course, this was an approach that is based on science, is based on the best uh, medical advice that emanates from uh, the CDC and its uh, peer organization. So I'm hesitant to uh, delve too far into this. But um, the point we've made repeatedly is that uh, when COVID is spreading anywhere, uh, but especially when COVID is spreading uh, with such prevalence in a country as populous and as large as China, uh, of course, there is the potential for variants to emerge. Uh, we have seen variants emerge apparently from other regions of the world that have uh, ultimately reached the United States. Uh, this is a transnational, all uh, public health uh, threats are by their very definition uh, transnational. Uh, we want to do all we can uh, to see to it that uh, the PRC uh, gets this under control uh, and to put in place prudent steps uh, so that uh, we do everything we can to prevent the spread uh, of any potential variants should they emerge uh, beyond, beyond any country's borders.